what is up guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how you can automatically create a proposal and a contract using panadoc and sign for signing using docusign on make.com let's get started on monday.com i have the status of one of our clients as send proposal i'm going to create a webhook on make that is triggered after one of our client's status changes to send proposal. So on make, I'm going to search for webhooks, then click on custom webhook. Here, I'm going to click on add, and then I'm going to rename my webhook. I'm going to rename my webhook to proposal and contract. Click on save, and then here, we'll copy the link of our webhook and click on OK. Then on Monday, I'll click on integrate. Here, I'll click on webhooks. Then we'd like to send a webhook after the status of one of our clients changes to something. So I'll use this as our template. Then here, I'll use another account, and then I'll paste the URL that we just copied from our webhook. Then on make, I'll run our webhook. And then on Monday, I'll click on connect. Here, it says fail to communicate with the URL we just provided. So here, we'll return this challenge text using a webhook response. So here, I'll search for webhook, then click on webhook response. There are two color braces. And then here I'll write challenge. And then I'll return this challenge text and click on OK. Now, I'll run our webhook again. And then on Monday, I'll click on connect. You can see that it ran successfully. I'll delete the response and set up our webhook. So I'd like to send our webhook when the status of one of our clients changes to send proposal. So here I'll click on create automation. Let us test if our webhook works properly. So I'll run our webhook. And then on Monday, I'll change the status of one of our clients to send proposal. You can see it ran successfully. And we are getting the client whose status we just changed. So we are not getting the rest of their data, like their first name, last name, email, phone number, or the company they work in. Now, to get the rest of their data, I'll copy this false ID right here. And then on Monday, I'll search for get an item module and click on get an item. For the ID, I'm going to add our pulse ID right here. And then for the board ID, I'm going to choose consulting firm as our board ID and click on OK. Now, I'll run this module by pasting the pulse ID that we just copied from our webhook and click on OK. You can see it runs successfully. And we are getting their data like their first name, last name, company they work in, their email, and their phone number right here. Now we can begin creating our proposal and contract on Panadoc and send both the contract and the proposal to our client for signing using DocuSign. On Panadoc, we'll create a template of a proposal and a contract that we're going to create our proposal and contract from. So we can send the documents to our client for signing. So on Panadoc, click on templates and click on templates here. Click on Community Gallery. I'll search for pre-built templates that I'm going to create our proposal and contract from. So here, I'll search for proposal. Then you can use any of these documents as our proposal templates. I'll choose this proposal template as a template for a proposal. Then here, I'll click on Add One Item. On our template, all you have to do is just fill in all these details right here. After filling in all our details on our proposal, I'll click on create a document. We'll rename our proposal. So I'll rename our proposal to consulting proposal and click on continue. And now we are going to use our consulting proposal as our template to create proposals for our consulting clients. We can do the same for a contract. On documents, click on templates, click on templates, then community gallery, then here search for contracts. Here, you can choose any of these contracts as our template. I'm going to search for consulting contract. Then I'm going to use these as our consulting contract template and click on add one item. We'll fill in our details on our contract right here. 
After filling in our details on our consulting contract, I'll click on create document. I'll rename our document to consulting contract, then click on continue. We can use our consulting contract as our template to create a contract for our consulting clients. After creating our consulting contract and our consulting proposal templates, we're going to head over to make and start creating our proposal and contract from the templates that we just created on Pandadoc. On make, I'm going to add another module and search for Pandadoc. Then I'm going to create a document. You need to create a connection between make.com and Pandadoc. To do that, just click on add then click on save and a new window will, will be prompted where you'll choose the account that you'd like to link to make.com. After choosing the account and clicking on okay, your connection will be created. But since I'd already created a connection, I'm going to close and just choose my connection right here. We're going to name our document. So the first document that we're going to create is a proposal. So I'll name our document as our client's first name and then say proposal. Now for the template ID, we are going to choose our proposal template. I'll choose our proposal template to create our proposal. I'm going to leave everything as is and then click on OK. And then after creating our proposal, I'm going to download our proposal. So on Panadoc, I'm going to download a document. We're going to add the document ID from this module right here and click on OK. After creating our proposal and downloading our proposal, we are going to send the proposal to our client for signing using DocuSign. I'll search for DocuSign and click on DocuSign. And then here, I'll click on send a document to sign module. Now, after creating a connection between DocuSign and make.com, here we'll choose, here we'll choose our account. And then for the signers, we're going to add the client's email address. So we're going to add his email address from our get an item module on Monday. So this is the email right here. We're also going to add their first name right here. And then we're going to add their recipient ID from this ID over here. And then the subject line of the email that we are sending them could be on the lines of proposal for your review. Please review. And then the message of the email that we are sending them could be on the lines of hi, first name. I'm reaching out to let you know that we've included the proposal in this email detailing the services, timelines, and pricing of the for the project. Please take a moment to review it and do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or would like to discuss any changes. Once you're ready, we can proceed to the next step. Looking forward to your feedback. Best regards, Dennis. And then here, we are linking our proposal that we just downloaded from here. And then we can add our document ID, just give it a unique ID. I've chosen to give it an integer, like one. And then click on OK. Here, we can rename our modules. Here, we are creating our proposal yeah we're downloading our proposal and here we are sending our proposal for signing and then click on okay now we can do the same with our contract so here on pandadoc i'm going to create a document for the document name, we can give it our client's first name and then write contract. For the template ID, we're going to choose the consulting contract template. And then here, I'll click on OK. And then next, we're going to download our contract. So I'll search for Panadoc and click on download documents. And for the ID, we're going to add the ID of this contract that we're going to create that we are creating over here. And then click on OK. And then we're going to send the contract for signing using DocuSign. So I'll search for DocuSign and click on send a document to sign module. You'll choose your connection. And after choosing your connection, we'll choose our account. And then here, we'll add the email address of our client on the signers. The email address, we're getting it from Monday right here. And then the name, we're adding the first name right here. For the recipient ID, we're adding the ID over here. The subject line of the email that we are sending to our client with our contract could be on the lines of contract for signing, please sign. And then the message could be on the lines of hi, first name. I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to let you know that the contract for our project is included in this email. This formalizes the terms we've agreed upon. Please review and sign at your earliest convenience. If you have any questions or concerns before signing, feel free to reach out. We're excited to move forward and begin working with you. Warm regards, Dennis. Then for the document, 
we're going to choose to download our second document right here. So this one will be the first document, which is our proposal. And this one will be for our contract. You can add the document ID. You can just add an integer like one. And then click on OK. Now we can rename this module to create contract. Click on OK. You can also rename this module to download contract. And click on OK. And here we we'll rename this to sign contract. And click on OK. Now, after creating our proposal, downloading it and sending it to our client, then creating our contract, downloading it and sending the contract to our client for signing, we can choose to send a notification email to our client, notifying them that we just sent them the proposal and contract for them to sign. We can choose to notify them via email. So here I'll search for email, then click on send an email module. I'll rename this module to email notification and click on OK. Here, I'll set up a filter to ensure that we are only sending the email after we've sent them the proposal and the contract for them to sign. So here, I'll click on set up a filter and I'll label our filter to document sent. We can put a question mark right here. The first condition, we can say that the proposal status is equal to sent. And then we can also do the same for our contract. So we can say the status should equal to sent and then click on OK. Now, to test if automation works, I'll run our automation. And then on Monday, I'll change the status of one of our clients to send proposal. You can see that automation ran successfully. We triggered our automation after we changed, changed the status of one of our clients to send proposal. And here we got the client's data. Here we created our proposal. And the name of our proposal is the first name of our client's proposal. Then we went ahead and downloaded the proposal. Then we sent the proposal to our client for signing. And we created our client a contract. And then we named our contract our client's first name's contract. Then we downloaded the contract and sent the contract to our client for signing. You can see that the status is sent. And then after creating the proposal and sending it for signing and creating the contract and sending it for signing, we are notifying our client that we sent them the proposal and the contract using this email right here where with the subject line proposal and contract sent, please review and sign. And this is a, the email that we are sending to our client right here. On our DocuSign account, we can see that we sent a proposal and a contract to our client for signing. When we open our email, you can see the documenting with the email that we sent to our client for them to sign. So this is a proposal that we're sending to our client. Now, for them to sign the document, all they have to do is just click on the review document right here. And here's the email that we're sending to our client telling them, hey, first name, I'm reaching out to let you know that we've included the proposal in this email, detailing the service timeline and, and pricing of the project. Take a moment to review it and do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. So for them to sign the proposal, all they have to do is just click on the review document. And we are doing the same for our contract. So this is a contract right here. We're telling them, I hope you have a great day. I wanted to let you know that the contract for our project is included in this email. This formalizes the terms that we have agreed upon. Please review and sign at your earliest convenience. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. This email is for the proposal. And the proposal is this one right here. And this email is for the contract. And the contract is this one right here. For them to sign, for them to sign this proposal, all they have to do is click on review. And they'll be taken to this page right here where they can go ahead and sign our proposal right here. So, so here's where they will add their signature right here. And then they can, well, they can add their full name and an initial right here. You can choose to select a style to draw or upload. After they've selected a style, just click on adopt and sign. And click on finish. This is a simple automation that creates and sends both the proposal and the contract to our clients for them to sign on DocuSign. It's a simple automation that you can create for your business or agency and automate the process of creating a proposal and contract and sending the documents to our clients for them to sign. If you have an automation or a system in mind that you'd like for me to create, just comment down below in the comment section. I read all the comments 
And if I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the automation or system from scratch. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.